Hello from Open Darbar. A for Apple. It's astonishing that one of the first words we learn when we start to learn English as a language can cause so much polarization among people. As a brand, you either love Apple or you don't go for it at all. If you think that you are 50-50 and on the fence, you are deceiving no one but yourself. Regardless of what you feel about Apple as a brand, here are the latest updates from the Apple event that came out of Apple Loop just a couple of days ago. buzzwords from this Apple event were mini and computational. Mini because they launched miniaturized versions of two of their products, the HomePod and the new iPhone 12. Now they were touting 5G as the differentiating factor for the iPhone 12, but I think it's more than that. Apple has realized that people are shooting movies more and more on their phones and so they straight up played up the entire range that can be captured through their new cameras on the iPhone 12 Pro and Pro Max. In fact, they got three-time Oscar winner Emmanuel Lubezki to make a film that was meant to showcase how well you can capture images, video and sound with the new cameras of the iPhone 12. You know a testimonial is going to be good when the guy has been behind the scenes of movies like Gravity, The Revenant and Knight of Cups. Now all the prices and the specifications can be found at the link of Apple that I've put in the description below as well as a little bit that I've threw together myself on Scrollstack but what really matters to me is that they didn't go for the SE that they have generally been going for for their lower end products. They call it special edition but we know what it is. It's actually the standard edition for people who don't want to spend their hard earned money on something that has only a slight premium value. They did not go for SE, they went for mini because the iPhone 12 mini has almost all the features except for the screen size obviously and it's going to give iPhone 12 a run for its money because it uses the same processor, it has the same ceramic shield and first it's slightly cheaper and second, it has the words Don't Panic printed in large, friendly letters on its cover. Slightly cheaper and easier on the pocket. This is Apple's strategy and a good one at that because they want to capture the upwardly mobile segment. Now, coming to the latest in tech, I was very impressed with MagSafe. We were also told that Apple are going all out to be more eco-friendly and that is excellent news, both for Earth and for us. So with taking this forward, they have developed MagSafe as a wireless charging technology and they've finally come out with some covers of their own which are going to be compatible with MagSafe and which are going to allow for better wireless charging. This is going to be the difference when it comes to really thin lines between its competition and Apple's products. You know that you are paying a premium. You want to know why you are paying it. And that is what they made clear. You're paying it for better, more advanced technology. So to summarize, iPhone 12, iPhone 12 mini, HomePod mini, MagSafe. These things are going to be something to look forward to. For all the details about the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 mini, check out the link in the description below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. That's it. See you all next time. Goodbye from Open Darbar. Please do take care and stay safe.